Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob. I'm Sierra. And today we're doing a little bit different of a video. We're inside and we're not actually talking about anything Korean. I am wearing my Korean Samsung Lions jersey and my Korea America hat, but that doesn't mean we're doing anything Korean. Today we're actually doing a movie review. What are we reviewing, Sierra? The Lion King. 2019. <laughs> Let's do it. So we're gonna cover this movie in a couple different categories. Mm -hmm. And our first one, we have all of our notes written down so that we don't forget anything. We wanna tell you guys about this movie. Our notes are gonna go like this. The similarities in the new movie and the old movie, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah. And the differences. And then we're gonna have our, our voice acting opinions about mm -hmm. the cast. Yep. And then we're gonna have animation, what we thought with the animation. Some, mm -hmm. I, I thought there were some places where it could've looked better. Yep. Um, we're gonna discuss that. And then we're gonna have our favorite parts. So we're gonna jump right into it with the differences and similarities, okay? You guys have seen this movie before and it's it's basically a shot by shot remake, right? Yeah. So this is probably gonna be a spoiler piece, this video is, mm -hmm. if you haven't seen Lion King yet, like 94 Lion King, if you haven't seen that yet, go watch it. Like, uh, please. <laughs> who are you? Have you been under a rock for a very, very long time? <laughs> Like this movie is a classic yeah. and most people have seen it. And so it's not really a spoiler. This video is not going to be because all of the movie is basically the same. You know, uh, it's it's literally a shot by shot remake with a couple extra jokes and a, and a couple things tweaked. But if you don't want spoilers, turn off the video and go watch something else. All right. So okay. first one is the differences and similarities. Sierra, what was different? Okay. So one thing that I noticed that was different was, of course, the animation. Yeah, of like, course. Like, I freaking love the animation in this movie, man. Like, yeah. it has evolved so much, and I'm just gonna, like, throw that out there that you guys, I love The Lion King. It's like my, it's my second favorite Disney classic, and mm. I cried the entire movie. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, look, I, I, I'm, I consider myself a decently emotional guy. I'm in touch with my feelings, I feel. Yeah. But this chick was crying the entire time. I thought the animation was beautiful. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I shed my one man's here oh at gosh. the very beginning uh, when, when it opened up. Yeah. And with that beautiful scenery and all the different animals, it looked fantastic. Because yeah. the animation, jumping back to the animation point, like Disney's first animated feature film. Mm -hmm. Toy Story. Yeah. Like, look at the animals in Toy Story. That was the best that we had at that time versus what we have now. Mm -hmm. You know, I have I work with a guy who thought that the animation could have been better mm -hmm. for Lion King, and I really don't think it could have. I know we will get better. Mm -hmm. I know Disney animation will get better when it comes to animals. Yeah. But for right now, yeah. wow. Yeah. Think of the dog, Sid's dog, right? From mm -hmm. from Toy Story, and then think of the animals in this. Yeah. Holy cow, what a difference. It's crazy. Absolutely. So that's my opinion on the animation. Obviously, you loved it as well. Yeah. Was there a certain animated piece that you liked the most? Um, I think the can't wait to be king, like, montage that was, was really good. It wasn't as colorful, mm -hmm. but... And that was definitely one of the differences yeah. to me was in the old Lion King, if you really liked the quirkiness mm -hmm. of even the point where Simba and Nala singing that song, Can't mm -hmm. Wait to Be King, were on top of the ostrich yeah. singing, and it was really funny, really goofy. Yeah. It's still fun, it's a little bit goofy, yeah. but they changed it to make it more realistic, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like something animals would do. Yeah. An ostrich would not be cool with Simba <laughs> and Nala riot riding on his back, and so they didn't yeah. do that in this film. Yeah. They changed that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not as colorful as yeah. the original film. Yeah. But it is beautiful, it's right? It's still really fun. Like I, they, they kept, they kept the fun of the scene and throughout the entire movie, they just, they kept the humor and they kept um, the, what's the word? Just I don't know the nostalgia yeah. of it. Absolutely, that's what that's what we're riding on here, right? Really, is nostalgia. Mm -hmm. They Disney is riding off of our nostalgia. They're yeah. they are not expecting this to be for new little kids mm -hmm. who've never seen Lion King. This yeah. is for us who grew up with Lion mm -hmm. King. You yeah. know, they're 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 banking on us going and giving them our money over our nostalgia. Yeah. And they oh. hit it right. They hit the nail right on the head. Your hair pop out there. Yeah. Your mane just wanted to come out and yep. and join the conversation. Okay, all better. Yeah. Cool. Um. So. 
The animation was fantastic, mm -hmm. and there were some places where I thought, you know what, that could be a little bit better. There were some places mm -hmm. I thought they made the lions even kind of look more humanistic. Yeah. Um, in, in the song, Can You Feel the Love Tonight, mm -hmm. um, which they redo all the songs mm -hmm. in this movie. I don't know if there was one song that they didn't redo. Yeah. Um, in the song, Can You Feel the Love Tonight, I was looking at the lions, and the animation was slightly different, I felt, mm -hmm. when I looked at them. Uh, maybe it was like the angle or something like that, but I thought they took on maybe more human characteristics in the face mm -hmm. a little a little more. In the animated version? Or no, in, in the live action. Okay. Yeah, um, when they were singing that song specific. Um, okay. I'm not an expert on animals, <laughs> but I, just my one guy's opinion. Well, it's probably because they wanted to show the emotion, because I, I remember so in well. the original, like, Nala's looking at Simba like, hey there, and yeah. they're like, okay. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, one, one thing we didn't write down, um, and, and I think we should talk about is dislikes and likes. But um, dislikes and likes. And one of my dislikes actually for the movie um, is that it moved fast in some places. Yeah. I felt like they should have taken it a little slower. Yeah, two I agree. key points I felt like they actually moved too fast was two of the most important parts. Mm -hmm. Simba's father, Mufasa, mm -hmm. when he yeah. long live the king, Scar says, and tosses him off, mm -hmm. I felt like the fall and the death of Mufasa happened way too quick. Yeah. That was, an, that was supposed to be very emotional, and I felt like they just ran right past that. I'm just, we know what's going to happen there. We're anticipating it. I'm sorry. No, We're anticipating it. You guys should, I feel like Disney should have ridden that a little longer, maybe put a little slow motion in there, mm -hmm. and, oh and ridden that out just yeah. a few more seconds. Yeah. And that would have been so much more emotional if we just had a slow-mo of him falling. Yeah. You know? Um, and it, 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 they should have gone a little slower with it, in my opinion. Yeah. And also... In that, like, <laughs> I'm a major Disney nerd, and so whenever I watch these remakes, I'm like overexcited for what's about to come next because I've yep. watched these movies like a hundred times. And so coming up to Mufasa's death, I was already like, oh, Dude, you were such oh. a baby in that theater. I the was people crying. in there with us had to be like, Dude, somebody get this chick a tissue. So going up, like leading up to Mufasa's death I'm like oh my gosh I'm gonna have to see Mufasa die like in this remake and I'm like oh my gosh this is so sad I already know what's gonna happen and I agree with you it, I think it did happen too fast because yeah. I was already done crying by the time he died and I right. was like yeah so I mean like they, they, they should have just ridden that emotional moment and the second emotional moment I think they should have ridden a little more but they just moved kind of fast in was when Nala and Simba meet again mm -hmm. like yeah. the, of course Nala is chasing Pumbaa and Timon mm -hmm. and she pins Pumbaa and here comes Simba yeah right and like he's knocking her around a little bit mm -hmm. and she has him against the ground and then automatically it wasn't like nope. a calm yeah it wasn't like it wasn't like a slow realization like i feel like would have built more emotion and yeah. suspense for the moment mm -hmm. even though we know what's gonna happen yeah but it was a automatic like he's against the ground nala simba and they kind of realized it was each other then they walked off together pretty quick off the scene it was like what they didn't take seconds? Yeah, yeah yeah they didn't take nearly enough time to develop this emotional moment mm -hmm. and they should have definitely done that yeah uh, just in my opinion and that's really like the two big moments for me otherwise get, i felt like stuff was well paced Go yeah ahead. then they get into can you feel the love tonight like they jump right into the song yeah, and yeah it's yeah. like whoa you they were riding off of those songs like it was it was honestly to me the movie was movie mm -hmm. but only between songs mm -hmm. like the only reason the plot was really advancing was so yeah. that we can get to the next song okay but let me say that they killed it in all the songs yeah the only song i was disappointed with was be prepared yeah you guys okay, okay. yeah that's fair my sister loves scar and so right whenever she sees this video and watches the movie she's gonna be disappointed but you guys scar they like cut it in half yeah. Like, I don't know if the actor is bad at singing or if they just decided to, you know, to move the plot forward to just kind of skip out on the song. The, I don't think the guy could sing because the song wasn't even a song. It was music and then he was talking. It was like sing talking. Yeah. Like, part of it he kind of sang, but it was mostly like dialogue. So mm -hmm. I was really disappointed because that is one of the like most fun songs it's like did your voice just hurt the day that you were going in to film the song part and you're yes. like you know we're gonna do this easy or what was it i don't because know because fe i felt cheated a little bit yeah because be prepared is a fun song yeah like where's all the smoke and the dancing hyenas and you know like 
And to, on top of hyenas, he, hyenas, I'm glad you said that because the one, yeah. one thing I wrote down was they kind of changed up the hyena dian, dian, dynamic. Yeah. That hyena dynamic of the three mm -hmm. where uh, the one female hyena, uh, is Whoopi Goldberg? Was who that was? In the original. In the original? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Shinzi is her name? Mm -hmm. Okay. So she's no longer like tight knit with the other two. Mm -hmm. She's kind of like the leader of all the hyenas now. Yeah. Um, and I'm fine with that change. Uh, I but but at the same time I really did enjoy the dynamic of the three playing off like each other. Really it was like well. the three stooges. Yeah, it really was in the original. And they kind of yeah. they changed that up, uh, and I'm okay with it because I think that the hyenas needed a leader mm -hmm. that was going to be a representative between Scar and the hyenas. Yeah, and and that, I think that worked well. Yeah, uh, and it kind of gave her a little bit more screen time and a little bit more of a reason to be there. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but that was one of the changes as well. I was really upset that they changed Ed's character. If you guys don't yeah, know who he's not, Ed he's is. He's not as dumb and I, I'm kind of bummed he's out about the, that. that. He's the fun. hyena that goes <laughs> like all the time. And yeah, and his oh tongue's like nonstop hanging out. He's got that one lazy eye. Yeah. yeah. He was more of like a hi. Yeah, he was, he, was, he was dumb, but he wasn't silly. But he wasn't like over the top. Like he was like that friend that you're like, hey, look, we're friends, but you gotta back up just a little bit. Give me some space, and that's yeah. actually the, the reoccurring joke yeah. for him in this movie. Yeah, and Which I, I I liked. It yeah, was it was good. fun. It was fun. That a reoccurring joke. Yeah. But yeah, so um, those are my those are my dislikes. What I did like though was the singing. Mm -hmm. The songs. I don't know, and that's one of the things I remember throughout the entire movie. I don't know who this kid is that played Simba, yeah. but I gotta find out. Oh my that gosh. That kid rocked it. Yes, he did. And I, I don't know if it was a, uh, a little boy or a little girl. I don't know. Yeah. Because, and, and, in voice acting, mm -hmm. why does it really matter? Yeah. You know, a good voice that sounds like a boy, but maybe mm -hmm. it's a little girl. Yeah. Or even a grown woman voicing a, a little boy yeah. works sometimes. But this kid killed it. He hit like, those notes. He hit those notes and he was going up and down with his yeah. voice. Guys, you you got to watch it, if not just for the songs, man. Yeah. And they were banking off the songs and they ruled it. Which, so. that, that brings me to James Earl Jones reprising his role as Mufasa. You guys, okay. Oh my gosh. This is when I started crying. When Mufasa started talking, I was like, Can I get oh a steak God. for that butter that he brought? Like, right. just that man's voice. Oh my gosh. And I like that he didn't, like, word for word, like, re-say his lines like he did in the movie. It didn't that seem was... like a cutout from the old movie into yeah. the new one. Yeah. He did it. He did he, his stuff he a little re bit different. He reworded like his lines and I really like I appreciated that because it, it brought something new to the movie. The line that I am so glad they that you deliberately disobeyed me. Oh my god. Like when he <laughs> said that I was like yes he didn't say it twice but he said it at least once. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um because I was waiting for that line. Because that's mm -hmm. one of the you know famous lines from mm -hmm. that uh from that character yeah. of course. And uh it was just a great great uh, voice actor and I'm glad they brought him back for it. I wanted to mention this later but I guess I'm gonna bring it up now. Okay. Timon and Pumbaa. They did really well. I love Seth Timon Rogen. and Pumbaa. Seth Rogen was a great choice for a voice actor. Yes. Uh, he did it great. I really like the, the, the one of the things that was different is I added a couple different jokes in and yes. a couple new jokes in um, oh and I really liked when they were going, and this is in a trailer so this isn't a spoiler whatsoever yeah. even if you're watching this. Yeah. Um, when they're they're eating the the insects for the first time, and they have Simba there, and he's like, and they're local, and, you know. Yeah. He says they're local. He's like, oh, are they really? Yeah, they're from they're from right there. Yes. It was such a cute little joke, Gosh. and it's like it was for it wasn't for the conversation because he he watched him flip the log over. He yeah. knew where the bugs came from. That was for us just yeah. to find cute and funny, yeah. and and they hit the nail on the head. It was yeah. fantastic. And oh my gosh, okay, so this is a spoiler, but they. Like how whenever he's like when I was a young warthog and yes he's little you guys Boomba is a little tiny you don't you warthog. don't see that in the animated in the animated version so when you saw it this time it was oh like that is too free and I've never wanted to pet warthog but now I do thanks Boomba when he's sitting in the water and all the animals are like drinking out of this water and he like blows bubbles with his butt that's the only way to explain this scene yeah it was the it was cutest. Really cute. Thing I've ever seen in I've my life. I've never even seen a baby warthog until then. Oh my gosh, but it was adorable. I freaking loved it. You guys did that to sell toys. That's what right. Disney did. Right. But uh, okay, and my, my my last thing I have to say about Timon and Pumbaa is I liked how Timon. It was it was wasn't realistic because I don't think a uh, meerkat is gonna ride on the back of a 
uh, warthog, yeah. but every single time in, when there was movement, like mm -hmm. they had to move from one place to the other, yeah. Timon jumped on Pumbaa's back. Yeah. And so it made sense that 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 relationship would mm -hmm. work like that, that yeah. he's going to ride off of him, literally, yeah. ride off of his back. And so yeah. it worked really well. Uh, I thought it was pretty realistic for him to get from point A to point B. Like yeah. that. It's pretty cool. Something else is whenever they start singing The Lion Sleeps Tonight, that is a great scene as well because mm -hmm. They don't just do Timon and Pumbaa, but they add in the other oh animals. Oh my gosh, I freaking got psyched <laughs> oh my about gosh. that. They added in the other animals and then Nala just jumps in and attacks They made Pumbaa. they made a community out of out of the oasis that they take Simba oh back to gosh. to grow up. They made a community yes. out of that place. Instead of just Timon and Pumbaa, yeah. it was now a an entire community of different animals, mammals. Yeah. And it worked so well. And the relationship between Simba being a lion in that community, and they're like, sub Simba? Yeah, yeah. You they know, they, they knew him and they trusted him, but they weren't like, they weren't willing to get too close to yeah. him. Because they still understand he's a lion and he has that carnal nature where he could, he might flip a script and kill you and yeah. eat you. Like right? in the scene, whenever he is like, he jumps out of the bush, right? You, you think that Simba's gonna attack this, what was it, wildebeest? It's like an antelope, antelope or something like that. Or something. And he, he's like getting ready to pounce and you see him and then he like turns around. But really, like he, he goes to play with these butterflies yeah. instead of pouncing. He's jumping out to play with these butterflies. And whenever he's like, oh my gosh, Simba, I thought you were a lion. And then Simba kind of looks at him like, what? He's like, you know, a real lion. And it's like, oh my gosh. Sick bird. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, that was, oh it was just great seeing his character with everybody else in that yes. community it was really cool because they knew him, yeah. but they didn't fully trust his DNA. Yeah. You know, it was really cool to see that because yeah. you don't get that in the animated versions either. Yeah. Um, and so that's actually where I have my, my notes end mm -hmm. um, as far as that because guys, you've seen this movie before. Mm -hmm. This is just a fun way to look at it now. Mm -hmm. They've put a few twists on here. And I think that they're, I think they've, they've done a lot of good stuff by this movie. And Sierra, I know you got a couple more things. Yeah. What do you got? I've actually, I'm going to go back to the differences real fast towards the end of the movie or the like third act. Um, they don't mention like Rafiki isn't in it That's as true. much. He isn't as vocal. Like he kind of, um, I like that they add the whole Af African vibe. Yeah, yeah. Um, they add more like African um, culture into this movie and I think it's really creative. I think Rafiki's speaking African mm -hmm. uh, like under his breath yeah. a lot. Yeah. Saying some stuff. Um, and so if anybody knows African and, and sees this movie and wants to translate, I yeah. want to know what he's talking about here. Yeah. Like when he's saying these African stuff under his voice, I want to know what he's talking about, you know? Yeah. It's pretty cool. I was waiting for Squash Banana, but it didn't, didn't happen. I didn't <laughs> so. Nope. Um, but anyways, like whenever Rafiki is leading Simba like through the forest, like your father's alive, that scene. Like whenever he's leading him through the forest and you know, he um, he leads him to the, the pool and he you know sees his reflection. That's pretty much, you know, like shot for shot. Um, but anyways, something that was different was Mufasa isn't like, you don't see him in the clouds. Like mm. he's a storm. Like he's yeah. speaking, ooh, Jesus. <laughs> he's, he's speaking through the storm. He's speaking through the storm. And yeah. it's like, oh my God. It takes a very, 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 yeah, I knew you would. <laughs> it takes a very, very, very vague shape of, yeah. uh, of, of the head of yeah. a lion. Yeah. Um, and the lightning kind of lights up the facial features very slightly, but you 100% know what's mm -hmm. happening here yeah. and the father is speaking through the storm yeah and I, I knew when that was happening I was like uh oh Sierra's oh gosh. Sierra's Sierra's getting revelation through this and right. she was, I, I knew if I looked at her she'd be crying and surely she was so all yeah. right what do you got next okay well um Nala is more involved in the movie and really I think back to whenever we saw the Broadway production Nala was more involved in that as well and the lionesses and like the community that they have all scar is ruling over the pride lands yeah they kind of show a little more of the dynamic inside of the inside yeah. of the lionesses yeah like they show when she's going to leave because in the animated version she just shows up like you don't see her leaving um, so I thought that that was really cool um, whenever they um, gave her a little more time and even showed how she got out of there yeah, exactly. and how Zazu ultimately kind of, kind of distracted Scar mm -hmm. so she could make that escape, right? Yeah, was it, was, cool. it was really cool. Well, that's it for my notes. I don't know if you have anything else nope. to add. No, I've got absolutely nothing at all. The movie is great, guys. Go check yeah. the movie out in theaters. It just hit theaters and so mm -hmm. it should stay there for a while, I imagine. It's a great mm -hmm. remake 
Um, as far as the live action remakes of these animated movies go, this is definitely in my top three, I would yeah. say. But it's a great movie, guys. Go check it out in theaters, The Lion King. So, on a scale from one to ten, what would be your ranking of this movie? Okay, um, I actually, I loved this movie. I thought it was great, yeah. but I didn't quite rank it an eight. I thought it was like a okay. seven, seven point five, because I felt like they were trying to just rush the movie along and mm. didn't give it enough time. Yeah. Um, I think uh, the songs were great. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the voice acting was fantastic, mm -hmm. even though at some points I thought it was a little bit distracting. So I have to give it like a seven or a seven and a half out of ten for yeah. me. I thought it was a fun movie. I'd watch it again. Yeah. But I don't think it's one of the best movies that Disney ever made. Yeah. So I'm, I'm I think they can do better. Seven point five myself. What do you got? I actually have an eight, just because I love The Lion King. It, I was, I was riding on the nostalgia wave out of the theater. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna give it an eight. It did a really good job. It gave something new to the story, it, but it kept the original elements as well. So, an eight, an eight for me. Okay. Yep. All right, guys. If you liked this video, make sure to hit us with a big old thumbs up. And if you really liked it, what can I do? Subscribe. <laughs> I don't know what this was. Jazz hands. <laughs> That's bye guys. Bye. All right guys, we really hope you did like that video because here soon we will be leaving Korea. We will be going back home to the United States and we'll be enjoying some great family time there. We'll be living there hopefully for the rest of our lives. We might explore yep. to some other countries, maybe make some cute little vlog videos about that. But yep. while we're back home, this channel will be changing. We're gonna start doing movie reviews, theories, and other stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We love movies around our house. Most of our conversation revolves around the media of theater, right? Yeah. We love going to movies. We like theorizing about movies. We love Marvel and Disney and pretty much everything Disney, period, right? <laughs> yep. So that's what you guys can expect from our channel in the near future, and we hope you guys really enjoy it. Stick around for it, it's gonna be some fun. <laughs> Bye, guys.